It's a real whodunit that has the city of Kaysville buzzing tonight. Who on earth did this to a couple of utility poles and why does it keep happening? We put new specialist Andrew Adams on the case. Andrew? Nadine, as somebody said in a movie once, it's a mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma. And nobody knows what's really up with it. They even question if it's safe or even legal, but they're certainly intrigued. In the season of giving, nothing has given the city of Kaysville more to talk about than this street corner. Oh, they got a dump truck on there. They got some other little plastic cars. See the red bike? Yeah, that's a new one. Dale Hoffman <laughs> says somebody has been decorating the utility poles. This is the first time they did an actual Christmas theme. And each time it has a bicycle theme to it. It apparently all started more than a year ago. So a while back, there was just a bike chain to a pole, and one day the city decided it had been there too long, no one was coming back for it, and they took it off. That was apparently only the beginning of the mystery here. And pretty much the next day, there were two child size bikes there with a sign saying, have you seen our mom? New displays. Yep, just more and more bikes. Have continued to surface. It's just kind of become a tradition of the Kaysville bike pole. The police will come by, they'll take a look at it, and Kaysville City come by and take a look at it, and then all of a sudden it'll be gone. <laughs> Neighbors may get a chuckle. But I imagine it irritates the city because the city has to come take it down. <laughs> but they really don't have a clue. No, <laughs> no idea. It's just the gift that keeps on giving, even if they don't know who. I'm just glad I live in the corner where I can watch it happen. <laughs> well, police told us tonight, uh, they just said that they're looking into it. And of course, the question is, who's responsible for this? Some people, like the neighbor, think that it's teens. Others suggest perhaps it's an artist. And then the question is, who's actually removing these displays? While the neighbor says he believes the city did at least once, others question if perhaps the people who are putting up are taking it down, given that the same bikes seem to be reappearing. Back to you. All right, well, give some people something to talk about anyway. Thanks, Andrew. Mm -hmm.